Dumbo. So now we're gonna do a Lion King inspired eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna actually do two different eyes to give you a couple different options depending on which one you'd rather do. So this is the picture that's giving me my inspiration. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's like orangey, yellows, browns, things like that. So for this, I'm gonna be using the James Charles and Morphe palette. And I'm also going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, which has a bunch of rainbow colors in it also. So normally whenever I start an eyeshadow look, I would use the MAC, MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. But I want my eyes to be a little bit lighter for this look, which this does lighten my eyes. But I want them to be a little bit lighter, so I'm not actually going to use that today, but that's normally what I would use as an eyeshadow primer if you were curious. So along with doing these looks, I'll try to give you a little bit of tips and tricks kind of thing. But what I'm actually going to use is my Jeffree Star Concealer because it's a lot lighter. And it'll cancel out the darkness on my eyes. So you can use concealer as eyeshadow primer or you can use an actual eyeshadow primer. That's why I gave you guys the MAC Paint Pot option. And as you can see, compared to this side, it's a lot lighter and when the shadows go down, they'll be more vibrant. Then I'm gonna take the shade Flashback, which is the white shade in the James Charles palette. 
and I'm just going to use that to set the concealer on the eyes just like you would set your concealer if you were putting it under your eyes. That's what I do. Some people don't set their eyeshadow primers, like since I'm using the concealer as eyeshadow primer. Some people don't set it. I personally do. I, I don't know why. I just feel like that's what works best for me, so just do what you want, but that's personally what I do. And to put that on, I was using my Jeffree Star X Morphe JS6, if you were curious. Some eyeshadow brushes that I really like are from Luxie, or Morphe, or Elf. Morphe and Elf are more affordable. Luxie's kind of more of a high-end high brand, but uh, those are normally where I get most of my brushes from. <clears throat> so another palette that I'm actually going to be using is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. I actually got this in a box from a long time ago. It's got a bunch of brights in it. I'm going to mainly be using the orange. I'm not going to be using any other colors in this palette, but there's an orange that I'm going to use in the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, but I'm probably going to mainly use the Laura Lee one. So I'm going to take the shade Dranks, which is the orange shade in this palette. And I'm just going to put it all over the lid. I'm just going to start in the crease and just slowly build it. I'm just going to kind of fluff this everywhere. I'm only dipping in like a couple of times at a time, so it's not like anything too crazy. But I just kind of want this everywhere. And just so you don't feel like you have to buy the Laura Lee palette just for that orange, I'll use the orange that's in the BH Cosmetics palette. They don't have names. So I'm just going to fluff that everywhere also. I think those definitely look good together and they match the orange that's in the picture, I think, pretty well together. So next I'm going to go in with Code James in the James Charles palette, which is kind of like an orangey brown. And I'm gonna put that in the lower lash line. Those almost, that almost looks like those mixed together under my eye. That's kind of weird. I want it to be a little more brown, so I'm gonna go with 10% off also. <laughs> Code James for 10% off. of the code James. I don't want to use too much, but it was kind of darker at the top of the picture, so I think up here I'm just going to add a little bit of that to deepen the top part. Normally I want the crease darker, but for this specific look, it's a little darker at the top. And now for the hard part, cutting my crease pretty much to do the sunset type of situation. Now if you wanted to do an easy sunset where you're not like cutting your crease or doing anything crazy like that, you can do like a color in your crease, you could do like a dark, the darkest color on your lid, like if you want to do like a three toned one, you could do like the darkest color just on your lid, the medium color in your crease, and then the lightest color at the top and then it'd be like a sunset vibe. So what I'm going to do is since my eyes are hooded where when I look straight ahead the crease kind of like disappears so I'm gonna have to make the sunrise kind of go above that so I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star concealer again and use a brush the tip you can do if you'd like is you can put like a piece like a little bit of concealer and then look up and then it'll put a line there which is basically where like it's above your crease now, see? So then I can just use that as my guide to, can't really draw straight and talk at the same time, but to make the sun. So now for this situation, I'm not going to set it with a color, I'm just going to put lay down the color that I want to use, which is going to be the yellows that are in the BH Cosmetics palette, and I'm just like mixing all three together, 
and I'm just going to pat them onto where the concealer is. So if I didn't want to cut my crease with concealer, I could have just used the yellow lipstick that I have from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in Queen Bee, which I had thought about doing, but I figured I'd try to make it to where it was just with eyeshadows so that you guys would be able to do it at home without feeling like you had to buy a bunch of extra products, but that would have did the job too. So I'm also going to take the shade B in the James Charles palette on my finger and just kind of tap that on top just to make sure that I'm getting the yellow effect that I want. So now we got to clean it up, of course, because I don't know what happened, but it kind of got out of hand. Just a little. The orange from the BH palette and just kind of blend the oranges again and just kind of make sure that everything seems seamless and blended. With my eye shape it's hard to do like more like avant-garde type of looks so there's like clouds and things like that that you could do like more details but you wouldn't be able to notice unless I close my eye so I'm not going to do all those extra details but um, I'm going to try a little bit of the Queen Bee Jeffree Star doing this so it almost looks like when I close my eye it's still like continuing to the bottom. I like how much more vibrant the liquid lip is so I'm actually like I, like I say in most of my videos which I didn't say in this one I don't think I don't normally like pre-plan like exactly what I'm gonna do I mean I kind of had an idea of what I was gonna do with this look I was gonna do what I'm doing right now but I didn't like practice I guess is the best word to use so I had no idea how the look was gonna turn out what I mean what products I should be using or any of that I mean I kind of guessed that with the colors I was gonna need I picked out stuff but if I needed more along the way I would just get up and get it so I guess I should have did the liquid lip down first and then set it with the yellow eyeshadow because I definitely like how that's looking better. So I'm actually going to take the Code James brownish orangey shade and uh, bring that a lot lower because I kind of took over with the color under the lower lash line. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's not exactly what I, I don't know like in my head it just I just felt like it would look different but I don't think it looks bad so now on this side I'm gonna do the look that I was talking about where it's like a darker shade on the lid a lighter sh uh, the medium shade in the crease and the lightest shade higher so for this particular one normally a sunset I would do like red orange and yellow or like pink, orange, and yellow or something like that, but for this particular picture, it's like brown, orange, and red, or brown, orange, and yellow, sorry. So I would do like brown on the lid, orange in the crease, and yellow above. So that's what we're going to do. I've actually not done a sunset look like that yet, but I've also done like, um, I guess maybe it'd be sunrise if it was like the pink, orange, and yellow kind of colors. Or pink orange and purple kind of thing so I dropped my thing that has all the names of the stuff in the James Charles palette so I'm just gonna have to just tell you which one I'm dipping into so the third over on the right side the biggest ones the dark brown not the darkest brown but the more like reddish brown is the one I'm going into and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid only to like there, like not above the crease, like normal, but just like literally, or when I open my eyes, all you see it is on the lid. Then I'll take the orange from the BH and the orange from the James Charles palette and kind of mix those together. 
and put that in the crease. I didn't tap in very much. I didn't really want to get too much pigment at once. I'm taking like this like creamy yellowy kind of color in the palette and kind of mixing it in with the oranges just to lighten it up a little bit. And now for the yellow, I'm just going to take a couple of the yellows in the BH palette and the yellow from the James Charles palette and go up here. So as you can see, this seemed like this look went way more seamlessly, way more quick. It's because it's something that I'm really super familiar with versus the other one. This was kind of almost like a first time trying for me. So now basically I'm just going back in with some of the oranges and then I'm going to go in the yellow, then the brown and just kind of like blend them all out until they all look seamless and enough of each one so that it looks like a sunset which I'm almost pretty much happy with how it looks right now except for I'm just gonna go on with the brown one more time because a lot of the fallout from the lighter shades were going on top of it so just to make it dark again so this isn't actually a sunset that I've done before with the brown I've normally put like red or pink or something like that there in place of it so I mean with the with this color it actually looks really good it looks more like Lion Kingy because of the brown and the orange and the yellow and all that stuff so like the yellow kind of took over a little bit on the crease part almost so I'm just trying to build up the orange a little more and then I'll just choose whatever shade I want to put in the lower lash line one of the three that I've used of course so I'll probably use not the yellow that's the bright yellow, but just a different yellow first, which is like a like cream yellowy shade under first, just so when I blend out the orange, which is what I am choosing to put in the lower lash line, that it blends out pretty well. So then I'll go on with the orange. And it just blends a lot easier and a lot more seamless. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite kind of like, I guess, go-to looks per se, besides just like if I want to do like something that's not like so simple that it's just like maybe one or two shades and done. If I want to like add a little more dimension and do something a little more oomph versus just, you know, the normal stuff, then I would go for something like this. Um, yeah. Plus it's a little more bold than just using just like neutrals and things like that so it gives you a little bit of a break from the neutrals um, but like I said you could use like red on the lid then orange in the crease and then yellow or you could do pink you could do like a pink purple and orange or something like that maybe if you want to do like um, something a little different to where it's like kind of like a sunset but like a little different or whatever you wanted to do or you could do like blue um, purple and white or something if you wanted to like imitate like the moon or something like that but yeah so this is what I got for you